It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. Oh my gosh. Today's the first day that I'm starting to have hope that the weather is going to improve. I got to redo my background too. I need a new spring summer uh, background here. It's getting messy. I hate when my background gets messy. So I'm going to do that one of these days. And right now I want to talk about uh, summer one candles because a lot of people are wondering about the candles. I've talked a lot about the body care, but um, we're in a lull in terms of Bath and Body Works new stuff. And it's funny because it's all good. It's fine. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Um, but for those of us, including me, who like to see what's coming next, uh, it's been kind of a dry spell. So couple of things I want to talk about. Um, by the way, the Mother's Day tote, uh, still no word about that on the Bath and Body Works app. I keep checking. I'm going to try and get into the store this weekend, find out what's happening. But so far, um, no official word about the tote other than um, the pictures that have come through like on the coupon, which I haven't gotten yet. The other collection that we're waiting on is the Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month candles. And I'm not sure what the holdup is on these, uh, but we're not seeing them in stores or online. I'm wondering tomorrow. Tomorrow we're supposed to have a soap sale if they suddenly appear. But there's four of them. Um, it looks like around May 1st they should appear, but I'm kind of wondering if they're going to do it early. So we're supposed to have uh, bamboo and eucalyptus. Now, these are the signature candles. Um, they're super pretty. I've seen a picture. Go over to Tess's blog, Life Inside the Page, if you want to see them. So bamboo and eucalyptus. Uh, there's a cherry blossom, um, which looks really pretty. There is a ginger and hinoki, which is yellow. That sounds interesting. Just really um, new, fresh scents. And I really want to get the roasted sesame. Um, it looks like roasted sesame, toasted hazelnut, and sweet maple. That's the one I'm most excited for in this collection. So uh, they were the fragrances are created by Linda Song, and they were designed by Kenneth... Iwata Chiam. So I'm excited about those. Those are actually looking good. So then we also have um, Summer. So I know a lot of people are wondering about Summer. I've had a lot of people, let me get to test this blog here. I've had a lot of people send me pictures of a new set of candles coming. I'm not going to post the photo because it's not mine. And unless someone gives me um, permission to post, I don't like to post photos unless um, they're mine. As soon as I get photos in the store myself, I will uh, start posting. But I wanted to start talking a little bit about um, this collection. Unfortunately, there is a definite um, kind of lack of foodie scents in this collection, which is kind of upsetting. I actually pulled two candles um, from the past. It's funny, I don't even like chocolate banana mudslide, and I'm wishing we had it. It smells good right now. It was frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and a splash of rum. I'm wondering if um, I do a reburn on this, if I might like it. I didn't like it the first time. Um, I also have right here a hot fudge sundae in my collection that I never burned. Check that out. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. We need a good chocolate one. Gooey fudge, vanilla bean ice cream, and whipped cream. Where's our hot fudge sundae? I don't know. I'm really hoping at some point we have a um, foodie collection. So I'm going to go through some of these uh, new candles that are starting um, to appear out there. So the first one is called Santorini Coast. I gotta say, I like the jar styles. There's two of them. There's like a plain jar style with some cursive on it, and then there's like this striped pattern. I like the design. Um, Santorini Coast is creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. That actually sounds really good. I love coconut. I love the almond blossom. That, I think, is on my guest list. Um, we also have 
I think this is a new one. It's called Summer Rosebud. It's blush pink rose, vibrant bergamot, and fresh cut stems. That could be iffy for me because you know me. I don't like a super rosy rose. Uh, next up, we have Palo Santo and Vanilla, which is Palo Santo, Woody Musk, and Tonka Bean. We have Sea Salt and Sails. Why does that sound familiar? Because we have had this one before, I believe. Um, the jar is super cute. I want it just for the jar. It has fish on it. You know me and my beach theme. I want it for the fish. It's Ocean Sea Spray, Aloe Vera Nectar, and Driftwood. Although Aloe Vera Nectar doesn't sound familiar, but they had, um, I thought a Sea Salt and Sails body care. I don't know. That sounds familiar. Uh, next up, we have Citrus Grove. Uh, Citrus Grove is a yellow jar with oranges on it. It looks like a painted design. I like the jars. I like the painted design. Freshly picked orange, sparkling citrus with a lemon twist. That one sounds fabulous. Totally on my list. Um, Oceanside Lavender, which is wild lavender, sweet sandalwood, and calming waves. Could be okay. Turquoise Waters, we've had that one a lot in the past. Coastal wa coastal Waves, Sparkling Bergamot, Sun-Drenched Musk, Bronzed Sunset, I don't like that one, um, Exotic Coconut Island Waves, and Soft Musk. Starfruit Sangria is coming back. Um, Starfruit Sangria, I think, is a red jar. It is. Um, exotic Coconut Island Waves, and Saw, uh, no, that was the last one. I like it. It's not exotic coconut and island waves. Um, sangria starfruit is golden starfruit, kiwi nectar, and chilled sangria. That's not a bad one. I kind of like that one. And then we also have, and I don't have the scent notes on these yet, um, we have raspberry rose. We have the sweet lemon, uh, sweet tea lemonade which is coming back. I know a lot of people, oops, I just knocked my, my table. I'm moving. <laughs> Earthquake here. Um, this one, a lot of people are really excited to see back. I don't know if it's going to be the same design with that um, kind of velvet uh, label, but this was a favorite of mine from last year. Uh, Surf Shop. We've had Surf Shop. I didn't like it. Summer Boardwalk, um, classic Bath and Body Works. That one um, always comes back in the summer. And then Under the Sun, it was okay. I think Under the Sun was that banana one in the white and striped. Was it white and yellow? White and white, yellow. <laughs> white and yellow stripes. I think I like that one. I think it had banana in it from what I remember. And then it says um, Core... White barn candles. We're supposed to get mahogany teakwood, strawberry pound cake, sugar lemon zest, cactus blossom, and midnight blue citrus. And then Bath and Body Works candles. I think these are already out. I don't know. Velvet Amber Woods. Is that out already? This is not my thing right now. Cactus blossom, champagne toast, hibiscus waterfalls, and mahogany rose. Those aren't even on my radar to get. No. I want the foodie candles. So nothing super exciting. Um, in summer one for me, in terms of candles, I mean, sweet tea lemonade, I do like. Under the Sun, Summer Boardwalk. Um, Citrus Grove sounds exciting. But um, I don't know. I'm not, like, over the top excited about this next collection coming out. Some people probably will be, because um, if they like those types of scents. But um, they're not super exciting for me. So we're going to have to see. Uh, no thumbs up. I didn't do a thumbs up. Uh, we're going to have to see if anything else comes out with it. So anyway... That is what's coming next in terms of candles, and um, there may be surprise, some surprises thrown in there. We don't know yet. I always say, until I see it, um, anything can happen. Anyway, <laughs> let me know your thoughts on all this. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.